Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are fanging around the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. This once again is going to be part one of two instalments, purely because I've got about 20 different things to go through with you, so I'm going to split it into two. And also with the second part being aired in about 10-12 hours, it will give me more opportunity in case anything else drops overnight for myself i can add it onto the video for you guys in the morning so part one we're going to kick off with something that literally as well just literally dropped on t formers and tfw 2005 this is new buzzworthy bumblebee figures this is earth mode hound and hatchet no other information unfortunately whether these are a pair a twin pack um what they're going to be released as all we know is they're buzzworthy bumblebee and you can tell already that is a use of the siege mold all the uh, holes and pegs and everything, all the parts are in exactly the same place as the Siege. I just had to do a quick double check with my own, to be honest. And you can see there all the five millimeter ports and everything are pretty much the same. And I suppose it's going to as well add fuel to the fire that they're going to be using that mould for detritus as well. So it's all win-win for Hasbro at the moment in the use of this mould. And there is Hatchet. No idea what mould that is, but looks very, very interesting. Um, hopefully I'll get a bit more information on that. Uh, maybe some more alternate mode pictures um, overnight or as the story progresses. Moving on then. Next thing is Renegade Studios. And for those of you who don't know who Renegade Studios are, they did a Risk game on Transformers, the movie franchise, quite a few years ago. But what they've done is they've expanded their partnership with Hasbro, so expect more games like that. Um, and it just is literally the same here. The company plans to show off these new products within the coming months. So it's gonna be working with Hasbro, with Transformers, Power Rangers, and GI Joe. So expect lots of board games and things like that. So that's all good, all interesting stuff. Moving on, we've seen these before. We've just got some more in-hand images in different poses, and these look great, to be honest. So this is Magic Square, and this is the ones, you know, they're the one who took the RC mold or their version of RC and made loads. So this is their MS32. This is Nursey, and it's just a few images of her. Excuse the glare on this. Um, again, I've said this when I saw these before. I thought these were brilliant ideas. Uh, I can't believe they did. Uh, was it five or maybe even six completely different colour decos to get the best out of the mould? But they must be selling really well because we've got some more images here. And I just love the fact that they managed to be able to do all that. OK, moving on, you can see there. And I'm glad you can read that because I'm going to go on to the next thing anyhow. This is a campaign held by HalloweenCostumes.com and you can win any of these. Do you remember these? We had a look at these a few months back. These are, of course, the transforming costumes um, again for Halloween, allegedly. But what they're saying is, let me just read out for yourself. What you need to do is you need to follow at fun costumes or at disguise.costumes and at transformers official drive over nice pun there to fun at funko costumes and like and save their giveaway posts so what i'm going to do is zoom in onto that there for you guys if you want to screenshot that pause it or take any notes from there all you've got to do is do them simple instructions and you can be entered into the competition to win these costumes, which are brilliant. Now, I've seen, as I say, these are just the official versions. I've seen some homemade ones in various videos on YouTube loads of times. And it's just great to see these. So um, it looks like you get, obviously get the inner, inner costume, the outer costume, and indeed the wheels. The wheels, I think, are Velcro. And you can just stick them on anywhere you want to. And, of course, there's Bumblebee and there's Optimus Prime as well. But there you go. You can actually win these. So head off over to that website right now okay next thing is something that dropped a couple of days ago as well um, and this is i think you must have seen this or if you haven't it's just been all over social media i'm just going to read it straight out it's easier so so it's basically from rise of the beast so the director stephen capel jr has shared some behind the scenes videos of two newly revealed voice actors okay so pete davidson from saturday night live i presume that is snl will be voicing mirage while michelle yo from star trek discovery and many other projects will be voicing air razor and if you go to t formers or tfw 2005 or any of the social media platforms there is a little video there and you will be able to hear them doing the voices moving on then we found some more of these figures these look very much like the cheaper ones that were in the uk in the one pound shops these are a bit bigger though these are six centimeters tall and they are currently one dollars 25 these have been found in retail um i don't have much to say about these to be fair i think megatron's head sculpt there is awful 
Um, I think the missing paint on the windows there again is awful. But these are, I suppose, brilliant for kids. What I do like is that he's reaching over, obviously, to press his tape deck. Um, but again, these are one dollar twenty-five. Um, and they've been found in retail in America already. There's the information on them. Where were they found? Uh, found at Dollar Tree stores, and they're an affordable piece of G1 nostalgia for one twenty-five each. Completely agree. Nice. Right, this is something, again, that I previewed a couple of days ago, but lots of people asked me about it, um, and loads of people left, left loads of comments. And again, I know they're not everybody's thing, but they are fantastic. So this is the Prime One Studios Megatron statue. If you go to T-Formers, which is where I have took this picture from, there is a video, as I say, showing you loads of stuff. And if you like to see the pictures, I've took a screenshot here of just one more. And then this one here, just to show you the top corner. If you go to tformers.com now, there's 153 images of this Prime One Studios version of Megatron statue. It is simply stunning. And I know people don't like the Bayverse movies, but it's a simply stunning statue. And if you like the movies, it's definitely worth having a look at just to see them all, all the different images of how detailed these statues actually are. Right, as you can tell, I'm struggling with my voice. I do apologise. Now we're going to move on. This is New Age Studios. Yep, there is it's a H45. This is in-hand images. So again, a lot of the things we're getting at the moment is things that we're aware of, but we're just getting some more in-hand images of them. So this is H45, Firefox Legends, which is, of course, their version of Skyfire. And whoever's done these pictures, I think it's I Am On Fire on T-Formers. He's done some great action poses. Um, and then what he's done is he's done like... It, if it's intentionally a homage to Dirty Dance in the movie, I have no idea. Uh, but he's got this thing going on here with RC, which you can see. And it looks, to be fair, it does look quite good. Then we've got some detailed images of the alternate mode. Very detailed images in a second of the whole back part. There's the front with the gun attached. There's the back. And then some detail of the front there. And indeed the thrusters at the back before finally finishing up with a good old close-up of, yeah, Dirty Dancing, Chet Fire, and RC. Right, moving on to another thing. Whilst I was on some of the Weibo accounts, I found this on Iron Factory's Weibo. This is, I suppose it's their own sort of transforming vehicles. This is their Iron Samurai series, IFEX 56, Tetsubi Red, and it's it's not, it's Ace, so it's a Iron Samurai in red. Which you can see, this guy comes with an abundance of accessories. So he's got a gun as well. He's got samurai blades. He's got his flag. He's got two samurai blades. He's got a long staff. Um, he's got a spear. He's got tridents. He's got everything. Um, and in a second, you'll see images of all the parts. There you go, that come with him. And you can, of course, then display them if you want in the alternate mode. Either like that, sorry, all tucked away. Or them with all the bits on it absolutely insane it looks great and that pretty much is going to end the first part as you see i'm just going to quickly show you them again because they were there at the end but i've started with them because they're most important fingers crossed we'll get more information on them during the night for me and i can let you know with regards to this youtube channel um i've just done g2 meg's core class um i'm doing core class sound wave at the moment as well and then i've got the rest of them to get through including joy axis with that secret bit where you can take the bit off the front i'm definitely going to be including that in the video as well just a reminder 10 p.m uk time i'm going to go live again to discuss things like this and the new figures coming out as well and anything else that you guys want to see i've already got a list of figures that people want to see already starting to build which is brilliant and fingers crossed i've got a couple of new t-shirt designs as well which i can premiere on that on that event as well so hope to catch you guys there um let me know whatever else you want to see it's in there's a, there's a space for you to comment on there fingers crossed i'll have my voice back for the morning and i'll be back to you with part two thank you ever so much everybody channel members everybody as well thank you very much for supporting this channel take care